Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to go ahead and do a holiday makeup haul. I ordered a few kits and sets that were available mostly from Ulta. Everything arrived today and then I have one thing that's from Charlotte Tilbury as well. So Ulta has released some new sets from Tarte and Too Faced plus I got a couple other things too to show you. So it's kind of my first holiday makeup haul of the season. I was going to do reviews on all these things, like dedicated ones, but I kind of got in over my head here and there's so much stuff I literally cannot keep up. I'm like stressing myself out with all the videos, so I thought I would just go ahead. I want to share the products, so I wanted to film a haul so I can at least show you everything, show swatches and stuff, and eventually I want to bring back my speed reviews so I can give you guys my final thoughts of the products like in a big video with a bunch of other stuff once I've tried them out. So yeah, I just, I don't know if I could do <laughs> all the reviews dedicated because we... It, it would just be a lot like almost every single day or more than one video a day and I have so much other things I also want to share so hope you guys will enjoy this holiday makeup haul so far um, you guys have to see this box Ulta sent over this box is huge for just like the seven things I ordered I don't know if they ran out of boxes or what like what in the world <laughs> this is huge I can't I'll go ahead and start with this item, which is from Charlotte Tilbury, and I did order her holiday eyeshadow palette for this year. I haven't had one of her holiday things in a minute. I didn't order last year's, but this one is actually very similar to last year's version color-wise, but I have already tried this out, and I did like two looks with it already. I was going to actually put up a video on this one, but my footage, was, like there's something going on with my lighting. It was so yellow. I was like, I could not put this up, so I ordered new lights that are on the way. My lighting is just like I don't know what is going on I did want to go ahead and still insert some of those clips while I'm talking here so you guys could see it in action but I have to say this beyond impressed me like I'm shocked how much I love this sometimes Charlotte's eyeshadows can be very hit or miss for me but oh my goodness the quality of this how smooth the eyeshadows are it's so good you guys this is called the instant eye palette smoky eyes are forever i love the name of it and then this is what it looks like so we kind of have i think it's a black packaging with rose gold accents really cool looking and then here is the inside of the palette so i love how it is all set up because you kind of get to work in these like little trio so it's kind of like you get four mini palettes in one which i love because her like quads are really expensive like $50 this is $75 but I'm more apt to buy a big palette from her rather than a little one because I feel like I'm getting a lot more for my money this way so yes it is expensive but I will say the quality is great on this I've tried out a lot of palettes lately that haven't really impressed me that much this one really did like I'll say I can see this being a top palette for me this year something I know I'm gonna use a lot because it's neutral but it has these beautiful pops of greens. You can go more the warm looks. There's just a little bit of everything. So I really love this for like neutral glam looks, which I wear a lot. Today I have on Natasha Denona Retro Palette. I need to do an updated um, thoughts on some of my recent purchases and include that as well. But I always get questions about whenever I wear this. You guys always wonder what's on my eyes and it's usually the Retro Palette. I've been wearing it a lot lately. I just think this is so pretty. What I really like about Charlotte Tilbury's metallic colors is that they're not like super chunky. They don't like enhance wrinkly eyelids. If you're starting to show wrinkles there and you're concerned about wearing shimmers, Charlotte's formula is beautiful because it just like looks so smooth on the eye. It's amazing and a lot of them are very metallic as well. I'll go ahead and insert the swatches so you guys can see just how beautiful this is. The mattes are gorgeous as well um, and I love that there's a dark brown matte and a dark black so I feel like this is like my, my go-to palette. It has a little bit of everything in it and I'm very pleased with this purchase. It's one of my favorites I've bought in the past few months. This is available on Charlotte Tilbury's website only right now but I feel like it is coming to Sephora 
before because usually her holiday palettes do but if you're wanting it now I will have the link down below so everything else I ordered on Ulta and I did end up picking up this perfume I didn't realize I bought the huge one but apparently I did I don't even know if they had a smaller one but this is the Ariana Grande it says cloud 2.0 this is the intense version so if you guys love cloud I know it's a top hit most people love this fragrance it's just very nice all around it's a nice sweet scent and it it lingers well but this is supposed to be even better so cloud is one of my favorites i had to go ahead and buy this um cloud is kind of similar to like a baccarat rouge but for less money and it's just oh my gosh so good i get a ton of compliments on it so i had to try out the intense version this is what it looks like so you get the little cloud packaging and it's dark blue and the bottle itself is white like a cloud and i will say fragrance wise this does smell pretty much a spot on to the original but it is a longer lasting performance so I'm all about having my sense loss last as long as possible so I think I'm gonna replace my original cloud with this one because it is so long-lasting and stays on the skin for a lot longer than the original does I know that one was kind of lighter and faded off pretty quickly so I'm really happy with the intense and I'm glad they didn't change it up too much because sometimes when perfumes come out with an intense version it changes the scent and I don't like that this is online at Ulta right now and I don't think it's in store yet I think it might be online only. Now into the makeup sets I bought. I want to start with this little guy. I'm so excited to try this out and get this in the mail. This is the new little Too Faced mini palette. They're going to have two of them this year. So for now, they have the Forbidden Fruitcake palette. It's kind of ugly packaging. I said this in my purchaser pass, but I love the colors inside of it. I think it's so cute. So on here it says, we took the classic Christmas treat with a bad rep everyone loves to hate and turned it into the palette of your Yuletide dreams with rich warm delectable shades and pops of sweet color that nobody can resist so you guys have to see the colors of this it's so pretty this is what the actual palette looks like <laughs> like a little fruit cake and then look at these shades I think this is such a pretty one for Too Faced to do I know they do kind of a lot of neutral palettes but I love that they included this fun it looks like almost a duochrome and also this one um, a lot of people said it looks very similar to the Manny MUA and Makeup Geek palette which was such a good one you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one for you I don't know if I like the smell because it's kind of mixing with the packaging and making it not smell great but it does give off almost a warm fruit scent like it really does remind me of a fruit cake but it's very light like you can barely smell unless you get your nose right up in there. So the first row, this is more your neutral row. We have One A Piece Of Me, Rum For The Hills, Candied Pineapple, and Haters Gonna Cake. So here is the shades together. The second row includes Frosty Buns, Cherry, Nobody Loves Me, and Forbidden Fruit Cake. I've never really seen it Too Faced do like a duochrome before, so I'm really excited about that. And I feel like they did a pretty good job of it. It's very pigmented compared to like Urban Decay, Naked Cyber. That video is already up on my channel. But so far, I really love the color scheme. They swatch great. Pigment is great. Um, I think this is going to be a good one to pick up for the holidays for the Too Faced mini palette. So that's the Forbidden Fruitcake. You can get that on Ulta right now. I also grabbed this set from Too Faced, the Hangover Pillow Balm set. I love their pillow balm. So I really wanted to try the new kind of Christmassy scents that they came out with. So it includes four travel sizes here. So I believe these two are just normal ones in their collection, the regular and the watermelon. They all smell really good too. And then the two new ones, which are supposed to be peppermint scented, we have Candy Cane Bang and then Frost Yourself for the new shades. I'm going to swatch these new ones. Ooh, it does smell really good like peppermint I love that this one has a little bit of like red shimmer to it it's gonna be so pretty on the lips just to add a little bit of color and it smells so good I feel like that's gonna feel really cooling on the lips and then here is the frost yourself one that one's just gonna be like a clear sparkle so it probably won't show up very well but those are the two new ones in this set I thought that was 
too cute to pass up that would make a great little gift and then this isn't really a holiday launch but it is brand new on Ulta they have the new lipstick line out now this is called lady bold empower pigment lipstick but these lipsticks are really nice I had to go ahead and buy one to try it out because it's been a while since Too Faced has had a lipstick range like this like I think the last ones they had were like the natural nudes ones and those were like only five or six this has a whole range of colors otherwise they just had like their liquid lips and tons of glosses so I was really excited to see that they did a lipstick line um, they did name it lady bold I think it was originally gonna be called lady balls but they got a ton of backlash over that so they were able to change the name so that's good um, so this one I picked up I actually have this on now it's extremely creamy so it's not really gonna stay in place very well it's not like a matte where it's gonna stick down but it's very moisturizing on the lips and it feels really good and I feel like it's gonna make your lips look more plump. It says that they are ultimate lightweight comfortable texture for bold outspoken fully loaded color with a soft as whisper feel. They really are very soft. The packaging is really pretty and here's what it looks like. As you guys can see it's so cute. It has the little heart shape and it does have the TF embossed on there. I went ahead and used the back of it so I didn't mess it up but this is the one I have in I'm Thriving. It's such a pretty color. So I'm excited that I tried these. I don't know if I'm going to pick up a ton of them, but I love just having one of the nudes, the packaging. It's just goals. So I would recommend trying these out if you're looking for a new moisturizing lipstick. And then lastly, I got a couple things from Tarte. They also released a little bit of their holiday line. I was really excited to pick up these palettes. I don't know if Tarte is doing a big palette this year. I went in Ulta and they had their displays like up, but the products weren't in it yet. But I, it didn't look like they had a big palette this year so they may be going more minimal which I think is good I don't really like the huge sets that they do Too Faced is still doing a huge set though they have this around the world collection and they're having um, like a Paris a London I think there's an like a Los Angeles so lots of different things from Too Faced are coming but these I didn't realize were actually the Sugar Rush line from Tarte which is like their more affordable line that gears more towards the younger crowd so I don't know how quality will be on these I'm hoping it's good though but I picked up the double shot palette from them this looks very similar to the Tartlet Toasted palette the packaging is really similar as well to their Tartlet palette so I feel like it should be the same quality these are made in US say as well if you guys are wondering oh I should check the Too Faced as well everyone always wonders yeah the Too Faced is made in USA as well so this is the double shot coffee palette I wonder if it smells like coffee and here is the shades I think these are cute it has the little swirls in it and I love that it's like a fun neutral color scheme you have a little mirror in there you guys I think it is coffee scented I think it is it's like a weird coffee it's not like a super like ground coffee kind of smell but it smells like a caramel latte or something how pretty these are so good you guys I cannot wait to put this on my eyes if you guys have been wondering about Tarte their, I feel like their quality is getting really good um, I know it's a boring palette but these shimmers are so pretty in here so that one is the double shot can't wait to put that on the eyes and then here's the other one they did this one's called sweet tart frosted um yeah just sweet tart i guess and it looks like this this one i think is going to be really similar to the juicy actually i don't know let me go ahead and compare them here's like the newer medium sized juicy palette compared to this a sweet tart frosted I, is this this one might be cheaper I'll have to double check on prices but it does have less shades but it's more of the circle pans this one looks a little more purple while this one looks a little more pink this one also has like a silver in there so here is swatches of that one I definitely think it l runs a little more purple and this one's a little more cool but I think they're gonna give kind of similar vibes but it's really pretty so this one just came in stock it was out of stock for a while but it is here now these really do look like they're gonna be winners for a holiday, so I'm very excited. Right, and then lastly, I did also buy this set as well. This is the Nice List Full Face Collection. I just thought this would be a fun one to show for gifting, or if you just want something that has everything in one, this is a nice all-in-one palette for everyday, easy, on-the-go makeup. So this one comes with a little palette, and it looks like some eye products. So the eye products it includes is a double take gel eyeliner, just the regular black one, and then a mini man eater mascara. I love this one from Tarte. 
It's a really cute size. And this is what the eye and cheek palette looks like. And then here's the inside. So it is pretty basic, but again, just for those who want something quick and easy for every day, um, you have all your stuff in one. I'll go ahead and swatch the two cheek products. We have a highlight in Tinsel Twinkle. That's a really pretty color. And then the blush is in Getting Cheeky. This is like a peachy pink. And then for the eyeshadows, these are also very soft, similar quality to the um, other ones that I swatched. But if you just want your shades narrowed down a little bit, you may like this little set. So this actually only has one shimmer eyeshadow. So you have a matte cream, a pretty gold bronze, a like medium matte tone, and then like a good outer corner dark brown matte so overall I think that's a really cute set as well um, I'll have the prices on the screen for you but that's just an overview of what I picked up so far for holiday of what really caught my eye I'm just I'm really impressed I know a lot of stuff I feel like looks boring up front but then when you get it and you swatch it it just seems like it's gonna be really good I've just gone a little overboard for holiday this year I'm just so excited about it because I feel like they have so many fun things I feel like last year I didn't really buy much holiday stuff at all I don't think brands did a whole lot last year as it is but this year I'm all in <laughs> with the holiday thing so if I can try um, to get some reviews up let me know what things you would like to see the most and um, maybe I could do that for you guys otherwise I will definitely try to update on my thoughts on these after using them but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this haul today I know I didn't upload TJ Maxx today but I don't know lately at TJ Maxx it's been like slim pickings like there's some good stuff but I don't find a lot at once as I used to so I'm just kind of uploading those as I go when I find exciting things you know I'll put a video up thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys